I'm Guy Andrews and this is Guy's Garage and this is the Kona N Performance and by now you've probably seen a kajillion reviews on this car. So I thought, do another one. I didn't really know what to make of this car. I thought Albert Beerman must have already left the N division, which he was so famously headhunted from uh, BMW's M division for. But after doing a little bit of Googling, I found that Albert Beerman had the Kona N on his radar from the get go. In an interview, Beerman explained that he found renderings of a stanced, fattened up Kona and he printed it out and put it on his wall and uh, used that as the inspiration for this Kona N. He never wanted to create another hot hatch like the i30N, although the Kona N drives and feels like one, but rather keep the ride height and the command seating position of a city focused utility vehicle. First driving impressions of this Kona N are that it's a much bigger car than it looks on the outside. Not in terms of uh, the interior space or the load capacity but the, the driving feel so the command position being up a little bit higher and the viewpoint relative to other vehicles on the road combined with the weightier steering. Uh, you know, they've done a great job tuning this electric steering and uh, when you put it into N mode, which is pretty cool, and the dash changes, the flames come up and the, the weight of the steering increases as well with that uh, with that particular tune. And you can, um, just that all those things combined just make the car feel like a much bigger, stauncher vehicle on the road. SUV sports utility vehicle so I'm definitely gonna find out later how much utility is in this vehicle but right now I'm up in the hills and I'm keen to see if N has put the S into uh, sports utility vehicles so I'm gonna get it into N mode I'm gonna get a custom uh, setting here which I set up earlier with just a slightly softer uh, dampener uh, suspension setting so just from experience from driving my other uh, N car which is the uh, the i30N and just driving around the city streets at the moment I've noticed it's quite rigid the uh, the rebound particularly on the um, N setting so just just soften it with that second damper setting there's three settings normal sport and sport plus we're in Sport Plus, but our, all the other settings are on full gas. And let's enjoy the drive for a minute. I'm going to put it into full manual mode, which holds that DCT in gear. It doesn't want to change up. I, I prefer that because sometimes you feel like just using the torque, I and mean, this has got a great amount of torque, like that corner there, just talking through the corner, got full control over the gearbox uh, myself, so it gives me that little bit of old school manual feel.
that guy is gonna he's got all utility and no s in that thing um, and it is horses for courses uh, this course here I would want to be in this car but when I get up to the campground perhaps I'd rather be having a cup of tea with old mate and his land cruiser but uh, we're gonna pull over here and give them a little bit of space but uh, first impressions I don't need to drive this car for that long and I, I must confess I have been up this hill before this video in this car and I'm super impressed with the stability of a car you know it's a higher car this car's got the ground clearance it takes those bumps but the the, the compression and dampening setup that N have done with this car is fantastic it, it rides the bumps out really nicely but it still feels quite stable through the corners very predictable through the front end that staunch feeling that feeling that i talked about earlier in the steering it just gives you good feedback you can feel you know a little bit of understeer on the limit when you're really stepping into that corner the rigid chassis sort of uh lifts that inside back wheel which is which is fine because you can get a little bit of predictable oversteer and get the car to rotate uh it's a great fun little car i mean for a car that um you know you can do the school run in and then nick off up in the hills uh before you pick up the milk to go home it's very cool let's have a go another little play the way this car rides those bumps but still has good stability and control in the quarters not not uh, I don't really feel the body roll for a higher car the gearbox is just fantastic and again the electronic the LSD is uh, quite a masterpiece really just gets that power down out of the corners that torque and grunt for a little car only around that $50,000 mark gives you a lot of fun there's no doubting that Anna's put the S into SUV it was very sporty driving up there quite, quite a rewarding fun car to drive like a hot hatch Traditionally an SUV is a four-wheel drive and this is only two-wheel drive but it's got some tricky e-diff that we love on the road but uh, in an off-road setting you know maybe it'll go okay it'll act a bit like a locker perhaps I've got a, a fairly steep uh, grassy slope here that I'm going to try and creep up I'm going to use some of the settings and the traction control uh, on the on the, uh, the little dial there and it's got uh, got some settings snow deep snow which you won't really find today uh, mud and sand. We're not in sand. We're not in mud. So I think I'll try mud up here and see if it if it works to traction control at all. If we can creep up this uh, grassy slope, it's about 35 degrees. You'd get your heart rate up if you're walking up it. Right, we're going to try and drive up this slope in mud. Mud. Fairly steep. Starting to slip. Tell you what, though, still dug its way up. Pretty cool. So the you could feel the wheels slipping. But the diff, uh, the traction didn't lose control and both wheels were biting. And uh, we got up the hill, so pretty cool. So standing here, it's a decent slope that we just drove up. It broke traction a few times. You could feel the E-diff moving around trying to get traction and it, it climbed up there no problem. It just reminds me of my dad. Back in 1982, we bought a Sigma wagon and he, he drove it on the beach and said, you know, this thing can go all the way back down to Stockton, no problem. So, uh, you know, maybe the Kona N can. So that's the first test in the utility. Now I've got to see if we can pack some stuff in to go to the beach. Don't think I'll be driving to Stockton though. Given that most of the Australian population lives on the coast or pretty close to it, a beach day is a pretty common occurrence. So 
I'm gonna pack all this beach day gear into the back of this i30N hatch and then into the Kona end and compare from a practical point of view how you'd go on a beach day and ad lib with the dog. What are you gonna do? All right, it packed in pretty quickly. I didn't uh, really try to do the perfect Tetris job. Had to leave Fido out, but he can sit in the back seat. Um, let's see if it shuts. Swallows it up pretty well. Whoa. Okay, so if you're in the mafia and you want to get rid of a body, you might have to break some legs. But let's just see how it goes with the beach gear. Stay there, mate. So you can see I've done a little bit better tetrising this stuff into the back of this uh, Kona N, but uh, we got it all in. It's definitely smaller than the i30N, but uh, you know, we've got enough gear in here for a small family, a couple and uh, a five-year-old child. Uh, so yeah, it fits in quite well, I'm impressed. Gonna do the clothes test first. Off to the beach. girls at school today so we've got one of her stuffed toys in the baby seat which was quite easy to get into the car there's plenty of leg room for a small kid and uh, you can get a couple of medium-sized adults in the back but I wouldn't want to do a super long trip in the back of this car uh, but all in all um, you know this little compact SUV Kona is stacking up on the utility side of the SUV equation quite well With an aging population, many of us find ourselves taking care of our aging parents or grandparents from time to time. I'm on my way to pick up my 81 year old mum who recently just had a little lung operation. She's all good now. But uh, I like to get her in the car to just ask her what the accessibility is like. You know, I'll try it with the, uh, the Kona N today. I've tried it with the i30N previously. And also we'll do the fun little one to 10 sort of underpants test, the shit myself a have you test of acceleration. So uh, stand by, it should be fun. Doesn't recognize me. <laughs> Bit warm out there. It's bloody hot. Oh, yeah, give me those. Man, I just had some fake beans and I hope I can hang on to the bloody things. Well, you didn't get a fart in my car. <laughs> oh, it feels like it, but I hope I don't. How was that getting in, into? It was good. I like this car. Do you yeah. like it, the, the height, the height, a bit higher up? Yeah, I do. To get in. Yeah, you know what I'm like. Yeah. This, I like the white. I'm sure White's the, nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like the white. But anyway, so how much are these worth? Oh, this is 53. Oh, well. Um, the top of the line's 55. Just um, going to do the uh, soil underpants test. Baked beans, Mike. <laughs> just, um, just, just, just make sure you just, sit back a little yeah, bit. Though. Just, just let me have a couple of deep breaths, please. Oh God, did I take? All right, okay. It's so. got um. Yeah, we'll just. Um, I'm trying to work out how to get this launch control to work. You don't have to launch. You can just drive. If we launch off, we. We'll nah, it's fly. good. It's good. I don't want to fly. I just want to. <sighs> just wait till all these other cars go. I wanted to tell the viewers about what N means. N? N, the Kona N. Oh, N. Yeah, so the N division is this boffin division in this Namyang in Korea where these, uh, they're, they're headed up by this German guy called Alfred. designing all these go fast bits to put into these Hyundai models. This is one of them. My, my other car, the i30, is one of them. Alright, well just take Yeah, so... Don't um, go too fast, for God's sake. Just... Hmm. There's only one way you can you launch know, it. Look, it's like, you can't, you yeah, can't do I a know. slow high jump. Well, I think next time if you're going to do a, a launch, you better get someone it's less... Not yeah, like, not 81 years old. Someone who's... Uh, I like the reactions. Oh, do you? Hmm. Oh. 
Well, he anticipates him as getting me anyway. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, here, here, I'll suppress. Ready? Yeah, he's back. No! Don't do that! We well, needed a few more revs on, eh? No, guy! No! Yeah! No, just stop it. Alright. Thanks, it's a 70. So... Oh, we only got the 70. Oh, so that's the good thing about it. You just go just to the speed limit. Oh, God. Hey, how'd that compare to the manual I-30N, the I thought, Mica? I thought this was faster. Yeah. Me too. Very so are we off to Aldi? Yes, please. I need to get... Oh, how many... You did? You gave me a 6 out of 10 shit my pants scale, brown underpants scale, um, for the I-30N. How many, how many underpants were soiled on that occasion? Well, the takeoff took about 7. I mm. think I calmed down to about... Five, but You're probably getting used to it. That's probably why I'm getting so used to it. Yeah. I'm getting amazing. Turning into a grandma bogan. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you seem a little bit excited. Well, I think you might like this, <laughs> secretly. I, I like this car. Yeah. It's very nice. Well, say bye to everyone for the, till the next time. Oh, you're on. I didn't even know. I was too busy thinking. Oh, you didn't even know we were recording. I just saw that fluffy thing and I didn't know when, but yeah, but I didn't know now. Okay, everybody. Love you. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> what a view. They tell me there's a dam around here as well, somewhere. So as the sun sets on this unlikely romance, my passing thoughts on this crossover SUV. If you're a young single or a small family with one or 1.5 kids, you go a long way to find a better crossover SUV than this Kona N. When I say crossover, I mean it's somewhere between a hot hatch and a city utility vehicle that you could take to the soccer game on the weekend, go up the gutter and park on the wet grass and still make it home for a shandy. I think I'm going to miss this car. Maybe I'll have one last spin. What started out as a sympathy date with a larger girl from accounts that wears too much active wear has become a full-blown romance with an athletic, practical charmer and a personality you'd take home to meet your mum. <laughs>